before Earth or the Sun existed. The part of space where our solar system now lives was filled with a vast molecular cloud, cold, dark, and packed with gas and dust. At some point, a nearby supernova explosion sent a shockwave rippling through the cloud, and as the cloud collapsed, spun faster and faster. This is due to the conservation of angular momentum. The collapsing gas flattened into a spinning disk, called a protoplanetary disk. The central temperature rose to around 10 million degrees Celsius. At that point, nuclear fusion began. Hydrogen atoms fused to form helium, releasing massive amounts of energy. The sun officially turned on, entering its main sequence phase, where it would stay for billions of years. The sun also unleashed a powerful solar wind, a stream of charged particles that blew away much of the remaining gas in the inner parts of the solar system, shaping what would come next. It's in the swirling disk around the young sun. Tiny dust grains began sticking together through static electricity and other forces. Over time, dust grains gives pebbles, pebbles gives rocks. Rocks gives planetesimals, planetesimals gives protoplanets. Through accretion, these protoplanets grew into full-fledged planets. Inner solar system, metals and rocks could survive the heat. This is where rocky planets like Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars formed. Outer solar system, ice and gas could condense, leading to the formation of massive gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn, and ice giants like Uranus and Neptune. Jupiter was especially important. It became so massive that its gravity dominated the early solar system. Early on, the solar system was a very violent place. Giant impacts were common. The moon's origin. A Mars-sized object slammed into the young Earth, blasting debris into space. That debris eventually coalesced to form the moon. Over the next hundreds of millions of years, most of the leftover debris either crashed into planets, was flung out of the solar system, or remains today as asteroids, comets. The solar system stabilized into the beautiful structure we know today. Eight major planets. Dwarf planets like Pluto and countless smaller objects. Today, the sun is about halfway through its 10 billion year lifespan. In about 5 billion years, it will expand into a red giant. Swallowing Mercury and Venus before shrinking into a white dwarf, a dense cooling remnant. But that's a story for another time. Summary. The solar system was born from a collapsing cloud of gas and dust. Sparked into light by nuclear fusion, sculpted by gravity, chaos, and collisions. And now sails through the galaxy on a journey that's far from over.